Louis and the Konrad Adenauer Stiftung for putting this very, very important topic uh, on uh, the agenda and allowing us to speak on it. It's really, really much uh, appreciated. Now, about 20 years ago, when uh, I, for the first time, was exposed to the Middle East, Middle East peace process, um, there was a, a talk of three tracks. There was a Palestinian track, there was a Syrian track, and there was a Lebanese uh, track. Now, we haven't heard much about the Syrian and Lebanese tracks <laughs> for, for some years. But uh, the point here was that water was viewed as a strategic resource uh, for obvious reasons, and was actually considered a final status uh, issue. I want to bring that back, because I think that water is um, of such immense importance, uh, as uh, the distinguished uh, previous uh, speakers have already outlined, that it deserves to be treated as a final status uh, issue. Um, now, uh, the... Um, uh, the situation is, I think, the following concerning the, the, the peace process and the other final uh, status issues. We have, um, for too long a time, in my opinion, labored under <clears throat> a principle which makes a lot of sense, uh, but makes uh, reaching an agreement very difficult. And that principle is that nothing is agreed before everything is agreed. We should reverse it. We should say that we should start negotiating and we should implement everything that we can agree on here now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> at, least, <laughs> at least I got something right. <laughs> uh, and, and this, I think, pertains very much to the uh, issue uh, of water. Um, as we have heard, and as I can certainly testify to, um, there is already a lot of cooperation going on regionally, and also cooperation involving the Israelis and the Palestinians uh, on water. Just to mention some of the things that we from the European Union um, are involved in, uh, let me mention the very apropos, uh, it's called the SWIM uh, project, <laughs> and it's about water uh, in the whole uh, MENA region. Um, Israel is also benefiting uh, from uh, this uh, program, but it, it's a program about building capacity and sharing practices uh, on water management uh, in the whole uh, Middle Eastern region. We are involved in the Red Sea, Dead Sea uh, project, which, as you know, uh, is about pumping uh, from a desalination plant in the Bay of Aqaba, uh, Brian, uh, up uh, to, to the Dead Sea, uh, and which will also incidentally uh, provide uh, water to the Palestinians uh, in the West Bank uh, and other places. And uh, the European uh, Bank for Reconstruction and Development uh, is considering participating in this project with a loan. There's a desalination plant um, which has been, uh, which is supposed to be built with uh, Israeli technology in Gaza and could make uh, the Gazans uh, more independent uh, in terms of uh, their water supply, which we are also, in principle, ready uh, to contribute to. And then, as Karl Magnus also mentioned, I mean, we have initiatives like the Eco Peace Initiative on the rehabilitation of the Jordan River, which I think is also a classical example of how it's possible, I mean, you have only rehabilitated about two kilometers, uh, but <laughs> there's a long way to go. But it, it's a good example of how um, Jordanians, Palestinians, and Israelis have been able to come together on, on this issue and involving also the local uh, population. And there's a whole master plan uh, for, for this. So there's a lot uh, to do here. But I think uh, what we need to do is that we we got to revise our approach uh, to the peace process, um, which would allow us to address uh, the issue of water and a number of other issues uh, also. And I think this is exactly what the international uh, community has been doing with the recent uh, Quartet report. As you know, uh, nobody, 
nobody uh, are expecting sort of like a big bang where where you just bring Israeli and Palestinians negotiators uh, together and then uh, hope uh, for a miracle uh, that they will come out uh, with uh, an agreement on the final uh, status issues. I think uh, most people are warning against this approach at this point in time because the um, level of uh, trust uh, between the parties um, are simply not at a level where this is going to be feasible. And I think that um, as has also been stipulated in the Quartet report, which I'm, I'm sure uh, many of you are familiar with, what we need to do is to build up basic confidence on the ground through uh, an approach uh, of small steps. Um, uh, and the Quartet report are enumerating a number of those steps uh, that need to be taken uh, by um, uh, both uh, parties. Um, and you know, I think uh, what they are, but basically it's about the possibility of Palestinian development in uh, Area C, uh, restraint on settlement uh, expansion, and uh, also a stop and demolition uh, of Palestinian uh, structures. Um, and similarly, there are very strong demands uh, to the Palestinian side also stop the incitement, stop the terror, uh, and find a uh, solution to, uh, to the Gaza issue. So I think uh, that Im approach would very much uh, embrace also uh, the idea of trying to make uh, progress uh, on the uh, issue of uh, water cooperation. And I just had a meeting with COGAT uh, the other day, who, uh, as you know, is in charge uh, on a day-to-day -day basis of uh, the situation in the territories seen from the uh, Israeli point of view. And I was very glad to hear that uh, one of the things that has happened is an agreement to revive the Joint Water Committee, which is actually an, an old Oslo uh, uh, committee, um, which I think, uh, if, it, if it happens, uh, could really be uh, maybe not a game-changing development, but certainly a very positive step uh, in the direction of trying to utilize uh, some of these structures uh, that are already uh, in place. And as I said, this is very topical uh, because it deals with, uh, with water. So this is, would be my approach, and I don't want to prolong this um, intervention uh, more than necessary, but I think you get the gist of what I'm saying. And, and, and I can certainly assure you that uh, the European Union uh, and uh, the rest of the quartet, I think, would be behind uh, such uh, 